have ruined my car, you idiot! Excuse me, young man. An angry motorist is a bad motorist. You clearly haven't been driving very long, or else you'd have more consideration for a man on a bicycle. What are you doing on the roof of a car on a bicycle? Well, if they had a proper cycle lane, I wouldn't be up here. <laughs> Your windbag's just gone off. Do you know how much this car is worth? Well, this one wasn't cheap. It's in better condition, too. Are you serious? Indeed, I were. And might I suggest that you take your driving a little more seriously in the future? I'm guessing you don't know what I do for a living. You may have a new car and fancy yourself as king of the road, but you're no Jensen Mutton. As my mother always said, mirror, signal, maneuver. You know it is a must. If you can't drive without making a fuss, then give up your car and get on a bus. No, my daughter's in one of those races. That's where I'm going now. No, you can't ride that in here. Well, it wasn't easy. You should get a ramp put in. <laughs> How much are these? Four ninety-nine. Thank you. Oh, don't worry, keep the change. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. <laughs> Would it be possible to borrow your helmet? In the interests of health and safety, I'm concerned about my training. Thank you. <laughs> I promise I'll get it back to you. Do you live locally? Do you have a place of work? Have you just arrived in our country? I work in London. Oh, good. Then you haven't got far to go. You hardly need a bike. I'm Boris Johnson. Oh. Have you heard of me? No. <laughs> but it does ring a tinkle. I'm going through the change, though. <laughs> well, it's been nice chatting. But I'm a stash. As my mother always said, I've forgotten that, too. <laughs> But I'm sure she was right. <laughs> Goodbye, Doris. <laughs> Hello? 
This is with that friend Spencer speaking, whom I ask is calling. Frank, where are you? I don't know. I've had a bit of trouble, Betty. <laughs> All the signs are upside down. Phone them off. I think I might be in France, Betty. <laughs> to get your skates on. Oh, excuse me. Keep on running. <laughs> Keep on running. <laughs> this time. Congratulations, by the way. Congratulations, Jessica. Great race. I didn't win. They should have told me which way round to go. <laughs> the important thing is, you realised. Yes. And it only took me three laps. <laughs> what am I like? <laughs> My dad didn't make it then. No. Sorry, love. But I'm sure he did his best to get here on time. Well, we're nearing the end of this world record hour attempt from Sir Bradley Wiggins, Chris, and it is truly unbelievable from him. He's absolutely right. But to keep us up, the record is on. away from the record. So Groot is going to break it yet again. There really is no stopping him. Sir. I've never seen anything like it. How is he holding on? Have you seen Jessica Spencer? No, I haven't. Have you seen Betty Spencer then? No, I haven't. Get off. I think I've had a hot blotch. I'll give you a bloody hot blotch. Truly unbelievable. Can you balls, please? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a married man. <laughs> so what's happening here? Disaster for Bradley Wiggins. Coach Dave Brailsford has got to be fuming. Did I win? I've never seen anything like this before. I'm in shock. <laughs> oh, Jessica, I'm so sorry I missed your race. It's okay, Dad. It's just a shame you didn't hear everyone shouting my name. I'm oh, so proud. Although I always think. If you haven't got anything nice to say, you shouldn't say anything at all. I bought you a present. I left it with Mr. Wiggins. Mr. Wiggins! <laughs> Why are we stopping here? Because I really need to get to the hospital. Sorry, there's been another incident. Thank you, Mr. Wiggins. <laughs> considered, I think it's been a really lovely day. Not for Bradley Wiggins. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't win, Dad. I just wanted you to be proud of me. We're always proud of you. Even when I done a whoopsie on the carpet. <laughs> Do 
it to? I don't remember that. I do. I'm going through the change. I keep forgetting what I've forgotten. Oh, Frank. Oh, look. This is Doris. 